Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And I am here to show you how to make a St. Patrick's Day shaker card. I've got my little inside shakes that we'll fill up along with these other items. Um, but the first thing I wanted was some St. Patrick's Day paper. And right now I just I wanted shamrocks and I wasn't finding any. So, as a lot of us have done this year, is we make do with what we have. And so I figured we would make it. I figured out a way to make it from the stamp sets I own. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to get a piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm going to put it here on my stamping mat. And then I'm going to just going to fold this in half because it was just too big and I was stamping off of it. And let me tell you, I made some boo-boos because that's what I do. But you know, no mistake's a bad mistake. All right. So the first thing I did is I took this four petal flower from Pretty Perennials because let's be honest, it makes a beautiful shamrock. And let me put it. Okay, so I took it, and that's why I'm using the stamp. The stamp mat is because I'm using the polymer stamp. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and periodically place a few of these and even just hang them off the edge. I know I'm not typically the type that likes doing that, but I mean it makes the paper. Let me clean off my stamp. Okay. We'll put that one away. Um, and when you make your own pattern paper, you really want to go from your largest item, and in my case, my largest item was that, and then move to, to your next largest and so on to, until you get to the very smallest item. Okay. Now, my next largest item, believe it or not, is this little heart, but I am going to stamp three of them together to make a shamrock. So, this, the larger flower petal, the four petal flower shamrock, um, was stamped in granny apple green. Um, now the heart shamrock, I'm going to stamp in garden green. And so, he, you just want to be a little careful, pay a little attention. I did not pay very much attention on my mock-up. Must have been because I knew it was a mock-up. Well, you kind of arrange them. Oops, that doesn't look very stamped. And maybe that one will be in there. And this is just a, a looksy loo game. How does it look to you? Where do you think you need it? And you just kind of fill in. And, and the beauty is, is that 
you don't like quite the look when, as and when you you got to where you thought you would be with it, you can always add more. Nothing to say can't add more. I want one there. I guess we'll just fill in with stars. We'll do that. Oops. Okay, unless I'm not close enough attention. There we go. That's better. And one here on the edge. Let me clean off the stamp, put it away. I'm trying to be good so we don't lose things. Okay, and I'm going to get out the little pretty perennials. Um, just a, There's just a teeny tiny uh, stem. And I'm gonna make stems on both sets, both my shamrocks. And depending on my mood, my stem will go every which way, or or the space you've got, because that one just didn't have the space. like that there. Alright, let me clean that off and then I will do the same thing with my with my four petal perennial. And bring those there. Let me get that to the grannies. Turn it upside down, turn them sideways, because they are falling shamrocks. They can do whatever we want them to do. Alright, there we go. This in itself obviously is awesome, but what could be better than some more? So I've got from the Oval Occasions, I've got the little star stamp, and I'm going to use it first because it is larger than that little, 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 little teeny tiny uh, shamrock. And I'm going to pull this off of here because this is no longer a polymer stamp. It's got that nice sponginess to it. And last time <laughs> I forgot to, and guess what? I got little smudges everywhere because of that. All right, so. We're just going to come through and put some of this golden orange yellow stars in. We're going to put quite a few in. few off that page there, maybe one here. Oh, I can always come back if we need more. Go ahead and close that up, put that away, get out my little 
a stamp cleaner. Looks like I need to clean that again. This guy's just great. He does such a good job. Um, but again, from the ovals occasion, I'm going to use the little shamrocks. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put it in an old olive. Just kind of any place I think we need some more. And this is going to be the filler. You're going to put in a lot of these stamps because he's filling in all those little cracks. It's kind of like ice cream, how it fills in the cracks on you. The teeny tiny stamps, they're in there to fill in the cracks. And you just go until you're happy. When you're happy, you stop and you go, okay. Sounds good to me. And we'll go ahead and clean our stamp. And I will set that aside. All right. Now, so here I've got my background stamp. Um, but what I need now is I've got to cut out my window out of this. So, I'm going to use the st stitch nested label dies, and I will run that through the Stampin' Cut machine and cut out this piece of cardstock, and I will be right back. All right, I am back, and when I take that off, I've got, I can remove that. All right. But, so next next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on my window sheet. So that magic window stu stuff. Now I'm just going to use multi-purpose glue. From my fine tip bottle. And I do like that fine tip bottle because then I don't put too much glue down because I'm notorious. I was really bad at that and then getting icky sticky messes. So my life is so, so happy with that. All right. I'm going to kind of let that dry for a minute, for a brief moment. Um, and I'm going to take, get my cardstock ready and by doing that, I'm going to take a piece of eight and a half by five and a half and score it at four and a quarter. Take my bone folder. And give it a good solid burnish. All right, from here, oh, well, hmm, I'm going to turn this upside down. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, so I'm going to use this piece to kind of help me center this because I'd like to see this paper in my shaker and to be able to get that all centered in correctly. I'm going to use this and I'm going to turn it upside down. And wiggle everything into place. And then when I pick this up, it is in place. So I like that. All right. But here comes the big deal. Um, how am I going to do this? So, the big deal is I need to be able to get
get this so that it has a little bit of raised edge in order to put my shaker stuff in it. So I have the adhesive foam strips by Stampin' Up, and I'm just gonna take one, I'm gonna start off with one, and just put it around the edge of my card. And I believe the beauty of them is that they just bend. They bend to the direction you need them. You need them to move a little. They just do. Everything that I've watched just keep on wiggling it. Perfect. I mean, because the, the really big thing about a shaker card is that you need, I wonder how I can do this without, you need a, compl a really good seal because otherwise things fall out. So, all right, now I need my scissors. Give it a little snip and then I can squeeze that down. And then when I'm ready, I'll pull that off and squish that down. Um, what I was going to do was I was going to use pop dots, but they're not as thick. They're about half, half as thick, which are nice things. So I wonder, can I do two pop dots? get the right yeah all right so it appears you go with two pop dots or you can use those adhesive strips and put some extra strip in here but I kind of like this. All right, so I think I'm ready to adhere this to the front of my card, but before I pull off all those stickies, I need to make sure I get my shakers in there. So there they are. Um, I've got some four petal little um, flowers like this and that goes to the pretty perennial bundles. And then I've got some little shamrock looking uh, guys, large and small, and they come from the Arrange of Wreath bundle. So so they're mixed in there with um, sequins, some <laughs> selection from your thousands and thousands of sequins because obviously who doesn't have buku bunches of them. Uh, other way around, you go there. I will give that a nice solid squish and now you've got I may have looks like I maybe got excited with how much I could put in here I just kept putting who doesn't like this and um I've used liquid glue so there it is um before in the past